Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with my very special friend Astro Gummy, aka K. <laughs> Hello, I'm Gummy or K. Hi. <laughs> I know you should change your profile picture, dude. It's not your little bouncing guy anymore. Uh which bouncing guy? I don't know, I thought Oh, that's your server one. Like, because every time yeah. I hover over it, it's okay. like I see the head bop. <laughs> On Discord, I just put random, like, cringe characters, and then on my server, I'll put gummy. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be all professional on your server. <laughs> like, Definitely a professional, huh? <laughs> yeah, very professional. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were like, should we read the Sebastian X reader? Not really X reader, more like an OC kind of thing. And we're like, eh, it's getting kind of boring, to be honest. Yeah, it's just kind of about the emo OC just hating everyone, which, you know, would have been fitting if they went into, like, dating Sebastian, but it's it's taking a while. Yeah, this is the biggest slow burner I've ever read in my life, and read a RPX reader. <laughs> Actually. Yeah, so we are like, what other fandoms are we in? So I was, like, going through lists, and then went through my library of things to read for a video, I'm like, oh my god. I have the perfect book that I've been saving for an occasion for someone who I'm also so likes Clone High. And I <laughs> it was like the I'm first so book I ever added to the playlist. I'm so scared. Dude. What what are the chapters? Well, well, let me read this. Okay, we got chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, chapter 4. Fucked up. Chapter 5, <laughs> chapter 6. And, uh, that's it really brings the mood, you know. <laughs> I, I I guess. Yeah. I don't know what- <laughs> Alright. So... Uh, let's see. The description reads, All the other clones are genetically engineered to be amazing at at least one trait. Sports, art, music, academic studies. All the other clones are beautiful or popular or well-liked. Of course. Of course you were cloned to be clinically depressed, front and center, officially diagnosed. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you had a plan, a date, and a method, and not before that handsome JFK clone could stop you with that dumb but life-saving look on his face. What life-saving look on his face? He always looks like that. Yeah, it's always kind of just- <laughs> Highest rank, number seven in JFK. God. I'm so glad it got to that, right? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm ready to see what- I, I only read, like, a paragraph of this, and then I was like, Oh my god, I have to read this for a video. <laughs> well, here we are today, three year around three years after it was made. Yep, let's go. Alrighty, what do I have to throw in the air for a- like a shitty coin fl Actually, there's a coin on the floor! I- I can just- Dude! The coin! I have a- I have a sir fetched coin, too. Dude, flip the surf fetch coin. I'll be I'll be tails. Whatever signifies as tails. Pokeball. Okay, I'll be okay. surf fetched. Uh oh, it fell on the ground. <laughs> Hold on. The anticipation's Hold killing on, me. Uh I go uh I got surf fetched, so does that mean I go? Nah, but I'll, I'll just <laughs> I can't go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, chapter okay. one. Oh yeah, oh, Wait, this is an X-Reader! We get to make a shitty OC! <laughs> Holy cow. So, the way I have these is, uh, whenever it's a YN, we, mm -hmm. instead of putting my name or the guest name, we just come up with a shitty OC. So, since we're supposed to be a clone of a, of a historical figure, what historical figure should we make our character? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so under pressure right now. I know, I'm so sorry. I put you right in the spot. <laughs> this is so important and intense. Yeah. For some reason, I all I can think of is like different male dudes in history. I cannot think of a single female for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm um, looking some up. <laughs> Just trying uh... to Google historical figures that are female. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. We got Amelia Earhart. We could do Earhart. Alright, Earhart it is. Awesome. I'm right, guessing it's the word air and heart, right? Like ear heart. Here, here I'll spell it out to you. Okay, good. Right here. 
That's a um, really good spell. There's yeah. a lot of conspiracy theories about her getting eaten by coconut crabs. <laughs> what? We'll go on to that another day, but. Yeah. Alright, well, that's her name. <laughs> <laughs> Cross posting this fanfiction from AO3, an actually good site. <laughs> wow. So the premise is that you, the reader, are genetically cloned with depression, which sucks, but it's literally my bad luck <laughs> because I'm very, very depressed and very manic. I feel like this is just like, um, what do you call it? A, like a vent? Like... Yeah, this is a vent oh, book and we're just reading it. <laughs> Alright. As you can see from the title. Is this for their therapist? Yeah. <laughs> this is this Andrew Therapist? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Mrs. Uh, Jones, today uh, I, I wrote something about my life. Chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll just jump right into the chapter. Alright, let's see. Alright. This is not fair, Scudworth. Not fair at all. You scream that loudly, directing your words at the lab-coated pr principal, who was sitting in front of you at his wooden desk with his hands clapes, hair sleeked back in front of his forehead. He almost jumped in com comical-like fright. I hear loud words, eyeing you with those beady snake-like eyes. It is fair, ear hurt. <laughs> you have to stop questioning it. Why? Why did you have to do this? Why did he have to genetically engineer for your clone to have clinical depression? <laughs> Why would they say this? I don't know. He must have been like, hey, you know what would be really funny? And then he just took our DNA and just slapped depression. I, if, if they clone me in the future without my permission, they're gonna have a great time. Yeah. <laughs> they just look over your genetic makeup and we're like, oh my god, this Ooh, person's fucked. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> it was an official freaking diagnosis. You even had a Wait, medical thanks. certificate for it. Okay. It's like a it's like a PhD if they hang it on your wall. <laughs> it came with no remorse, just two sharp, unforgiven words. Nineteen unforgivable letters. Because your original clone was a bad person, Earth her was she? I don't think I don't know, she was just eaten uh, by crabs, right? <laughs> uh let's hope uh they're talking to Yeah, let's hope they're talking about another air heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I saw fit to make it up with you. He replied to your angered question. With that, he grated, annoyed voice of his. Okay, fine. But that doesn't mean you can ruin my fucking life, Scudworth. My brain is in literal hell. This is right, hell. It's literal hell. Oh, uh, <laughs> we'll just say this is a shitty clone of Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, something went wrong. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I know some of the clones aren't exact, like. But Gandhi, for example, he is not like the original Gandhi no, at all, so... No, no. We're, we're just off yeah. our rockers. <laughs> True. This is hell. You should have cloned me to be beautiful or popular or smart, but no, no way. You cloned me to be clinically depressed. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it's like a parent thing. It's like, I hate you, dad. It's like, it's the door. <laughs> it was stupid. <laughs> Oh, this was so... Oh, this was so stupid. All he had to do was clone you to be happy, but he didn't even do that. Pathetic. It was utterly pathetic. In his office, you angrily kicked around a basket of catching paper- Do me like a trash can? <laughs> Which flew into the wall with a loud, <laughs> ear-chattering crash. You were absolutely fuming. Absolutely livid. You couldn't escape your clone's traits, as you were the clone. The press. Now, how absolutely fucked up is that? <laughs> you you should have been artsy or in love with literature or good at running cross country meets, for fuck's sake. <laughs> you could have been even been at least likable, but Skyward declared you're virtually undesirable of life itself. Out. You want it out of this crappy life. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I had a wife yeah. ear hurt. Skyworth whispered. Something like sadness in his eyes. Okay, I'm bet. What happened to her? You muttered with a slightly lowered voice, calming your rage a tiny bit. Can you guess? She was oppressed as well. She took her own life? There was fear in your words. Fear that you couldn't even conceal. Why is that in- <laughs> I don't feel like he was just shouting, but okay. Spot on! Trauma dumping. Yeah. 
The trauma dumping to a literal teenager. <laughs> oh, it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that so true, though? Yeah. Spot on. She was so she was so sudden saddened by what I was becoming with creating these clones. She thought I was turning evil and dark. She didn't want anything to do with me anymore. So she drank some of my lab chemicals and then, and then, he burst into tears. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking trauma dumping right now. What the hell's going on? Like, damn. All right. So soon. For fucking ear hearts, like in the corner, like, oh, okay. That's, I'm just gonna go all right. now. Uh, can I go now? I got some. I got homework. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to close this door on the way out? <laughs> <laughs> He felt kind of bad, honestly. He wasn't actually that cynical, crude, heart-hearted scientist, but rather a lost old man without his wife for years. I'm sorry, Principal Scudworth, I really am. He blew into a tissue extremely loudly, weeping his eyes out of dramatic effect. And, Earhart, you, you will not ruin this for me. If I told you, I cloned you to look exactly like- What?! <laughs> Oh, that is like weird. This That's is weird. So wait, did, she, did he just take the clone of this character and just not only add depression, but added his wife's DNA to? That's like icky. I don't. I don't like that. Yeah. What the <laughs> fuck, Scott? Where the what a weird fuck? old man. What the hell? Yeah. Holy shit. Damn. Okay. I cloned you to look exactly like her, almost to give her another life, so to say, you will not mess it up. You're the closest person to anyone who actually loved me. You're all that I have. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my reaction too, just, what? <laughs> yeah, be like, um, wow. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna go see a therapist now. I think I need it. <laughs> yeah, for the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh my god, what the actual hell? He barked out a delirious, hysterical laugh. He was wholeheartedly crazy. He was a 50-year-old man, and you were, well, you were you. Baron Sadden in f uh, f fatigued of, with pain. I'm not your wife, Scoworth. That's just creepy. I'm sorry for your loss, but she's dead, and you have to accept oh, it. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, this is just like, find this out for the first time. Oh, this is just crazy. Yeah. This <laughs> This is insane. I just, didn't the author at the beginning say, like, this is, like, their own kind of self-insert for their own thing going on? Oh, yeah, I, I hope they're okay. Yeah, I hope- th this is for you, author. I hope you're doing okay. Hope, uh, like, the last couple years with quarantine and all that's treated you well, at least. Yes, <laughs> please. <laughs> you messed that bad with me. You call me to be clinically depressed, and I can't take it anymore. You know what? I bet. I can't care anymore. I can't care about anything. Screw you and your dead wife. I'm going to end it as, as well. I'll drain oh. your chemical lab, your lab chemicals. I'm going the same way as her. I'm sorry. This is just not living, is it? <laughs> what? <laughs> when does JFK come in like, wait, stop right there. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cannon. Yeah. All right, you can go. <laughs> All right, we're we're uh. I think it's Skidworth. Is... Uh, Skidworth looked at you desperately. Is that where we start? Yeah. All right. Skidworth looked at you desperately, such despair in his rounded little eyes, and he begged, begged for his dead wife to come back to him. Uh, Ear, Earhart, please. This is not what she would have wanted. I'm not her. Oh, it just kind of keeps switching. Yeah. I'm not her. I'm not. You whispered those last few words before turning and hurrying out of his room, tears flying from your eyes. It was so melodramatic, but you were feeling your, the worst you had ever been. Would you even get through this night? Could you even make it to tomorrow? Would you even be able to survive it? Survive the self-hatred and the demons and the yelling words that no one cared about you at all? Oh my gosh. 
You ran as fast as possible from Scudworth's office, sprinting down the school hallway, narrowly avoiding bumping into someone. Okay, to be fair, if I was dropped all that, I would run too. Like, yeah. holy shit. I'm just gonna <laughs> yeah. make a break for it. She went in there to yell at Scudworth for giving her critical depression to find out that not only is she, like, a clone that was, like, just, like, he was just like, hey, you know, it'll be funny. And then she, he also has, like, his dead wife's genetics in her as well. Like, wow. Yeah, that would be a lot. <laughs> this someone was tall with devilish good looks and a red striped shirt. Of course. Of freaking course. You had almost tripped up... Uh, uh, up the clone of JFK. Handsome, well-liked, a womanizing stud. He could get any girl he wanted. Too freaking dumb to even think about the re repercussions of being depressed. <laughs> Ignorance must have been bliss for him. I, uh, lass, are you alright? <laughs> he questioned that, that to you with the thickest accent you have ever heard, staring at your running tears anxiously. Hastily, you tried to wipe them away, tried to move past him. He stopped you, almost like he knew the word on your mind. Suicide? <laughs> oh. I don't think that's a word in his vocabulary. <laughs> do I have to, like, voice him saying that? Don't, don't do it. <laughs> Put the knife down. <laughs> Scudworth's wife had, had taken that route. If virtually you were the same person as her, weren't you destined to take it as well? Ah, Saya, uh, eh. Did your boyfriend break up with you? Why the tears? I, uh, we can talk about it. Talk about the thinking inside the box. You had only ever had one boyfriend before, the clone of Van Gogh, and the two of you were too depressed to even have healthy discussions about anything besides Steph. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, she doesn't talk to him much. I want, God help me, I want to die, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you're like running down the hallway, you bump into someone you don't talk to, and you're, you're like, You alright? And you're like, I want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's so fucking cringe. I will not kill her. I want to join Ponce de Leon in heaven. He stared at you in shock, still saddened by his best mate's death, now seemingly even more saddened by your want to go the same way. His dumbfounded facial features were even more dumbfounded than usual. Wait, lass, we can get together at my house. Talk about it. You are a vulnerable teenage girl. <laughs> no one likes to... No one likes to a dead girl. What? <laughs> Please don't, I, uh... Please don't end your own life! <laughs> if I actually did have to say that, holy sh- <laughs> You scoffed at him. That was the weakest attempt at toxic positivity you have ever heard. You just shoved past him! <laughs> past his worried, anxious look, he tried to grab onto you desperately, but there was a poison in your eyes. Why care about you? He would only want you for your body. Don't fucking touch me, JFK! You are a womanizing prick! Touch my dead body next if you really want oh to! Oh my god! Jesus. And then you ran past him again. Ran past an absent-looking Abe Lincoln. Ran past a Cleopatra tongue-battling with her boyfriend. Past a Gandhi who was pranking someone. Ran past all the other clones of Clone High. Most importantly, running from yourself and the dead wife made in your image. Oh my goodness. Well. Someone's- <laughs> the comments are interesting. Wait, 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 I gotta go back to the comments, hold on! <laughs> hold on, scroll faster! <laughs> He's hey, just like me with my MDD? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what MDD stands for, I'm sorry. <laughs> Neither. I like your funny words, Magic Man! <laughs> We have to read the- the first part of chapter two. You do it. Start on- start it off, please. Alrighty, first was definitely crunchy fucking <laughs> I like how the author knows that! Yeah. Yes, the reader is best friends with Van Gogh. He's great, but I would be jealous of his art talent. Alright. I literally can't draw to save my fucking life. Alright, let's see. I'm sorry, Earhart. There must, there, it must be really hard for you to cope with. 
Skillworth is definitely not a fair man. I understand that. I definitely asked- I didn't- never ask to be cloned either. I didn't sign up for this cursed life. Vincent Van Gogh whispered with sadness. Re- I don't fucking know how to pronounce that. <laughs> resonate? Or- Re Yep, yeah, that's- yeah, that's yeah. resonate. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. Resonating statement silently. Tucking his weaved head- the weary head in his arms. You were currently in his house, in his room, to be more specific, and you were venting away about the horrible recent events that had transpired yesterday afternoon, including, but not limited to... Oh no. Oh, <laughs> just no. fucking like, so this happened, and this happened, and this... <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah, pinpointing... Oh boy. Stubborn droning on about his past wife, annoying all your senses. You completely lost your mind, quite frantically screaming at your vocal cords at the former but they shriveled up. JFK interrupted by bringing- by being an utter prick. Was he? <laughs> I thought he was trying to be caring. <laughs> He's like, don't kill yourself. She's like, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> A womanizing, sport-loving, handsome, airhead, jock-like, eyebrow loop-sided prick. It was all just so frustrating. You wanted to fucking scream. <laughs> <laughs> me too, buddy, me too. But you didn't trust yourself to be alone, so you needed Van Gogh's comfort that there's with you instead. Anyway- Feels like Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how have you been yourself, Van? Not particularly good, if I have to be honest. Why is that? I just feel so lonely in my soul every single second of every single day, deep down, like it- like if it really happened, no one would care if I died. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Every, oh, every other line I read is so depressing. Okay, uh, message to all of you watching this, if you get the, got this far. Please, like, um, go outside for, like, five, ten minutes. Like, look at a picture of puppies after this. Talk, T talk some to grass. someone you trust. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, don't end your, end your, uh, end the video with these gloomy thoughts. Look at some puppies. All yeah. right. Let's continue. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Van. I would care if you died. You got up from your chair and he had a low sid from you sitting down in his bed. You wrapped your arms around his thin bony shoulders and he sobbed into your chest, staining your newly bought blouse with tears. He almost sighed with comic relief. Earhart, if you died, I don't know if I'll be able to, if I'll be able to process it. Uh, what do you mean, Van? You're my dearest friend. I feel so entwined with you. It's like you die and it's a part of me would also die. You're already so hopeless and so miserable all the time. Hope I, I hope you can get some help with your demons. You deserve so much more than your depression. You bring sadly, playing with a thread of blue cotton on his worn out mattress protector. I'll try not to die, Van Gogh. He smiles slightly, tears still bubbling in his eyes. It's just you and me, Earhart. You versus us versus the world. No one else really notices us. We're invisible. We could disappear for all, for all we know, and like no one would care at all. Oh my gosh, this oh. is like, like Twilight love story. Like, we we'll be emo together. It'll be okay. Why is this bringing me back to high school? <laughs> oh no, I don't know. You okay? I, yeah, I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> That's guess, all that matters. Yeah, I can't <laughs> say about back then. <laughs> Ooh. Oh god, harsh times. Anyway. <laughs> it sounded a bit clinical. Crude, harsh, and pessimistic. But yeah, you can consider yourself alone in everything. In your depression, your mental health, and your suffering. Even in this entirely fucked up world. Well, we care about each other. Me and you, don't we, Van? Is it not enough for you? Don't we- Don't you want me to be with someone else? Are you done with so me? Sweet. Or do you, do I drag you down to the ever deeper misery? Several questions that sounded a bit rude out loud, but your depression had morphed into a grumbling old rain irritation. Van Gogh shook his head anxiously, wrangling his frail hands. No, Earhart, of course I didn't mean that. I just really, really wish more people loved me. I wish I was someone else, anyone else. I wish I was JFK or even Julius Caesar. Doesn't it suck to be you sometimes? All the time, man. All the freaking time. 
Oh my gosh, this actually takes me back to like my last relationships where it was just like, oh, you deserve someone better, and then just kind of like sob story. Holy cow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, I guess it is Clone 9. Yeah, I guess. Depression edition. <laughs> yeah, th yeah, this is the depression copy. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think we found the wrong copy, guys. Yeah, this is like when you get, like, the bootleg, like... <laughs> <laughs> this is the Timu version of Clone 9. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. What should we do about it? You didn't know. The truth of the matter was that you were lost, lonely, anxious, and stuck in a never-ending rut of depression. You were a clone, a clone engineered to be all the, all the things above. There was nothing that you could do about it. You knew you had to admit that to yourself, and even if you could do something about that, it's something started with S and ended with Uisai. <laughs> Uisai. I'm sorry, oh my god. Yeah. That's like what people are like, I'm in Spain without the, the S. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Delightful. It was just, it just seemed like the only way out at this point. Isn't, like, I'm not, I'm not qualified because I don't have clinical depression, but like, for normal depression, you can take meds, right? To like, help you. Yeah, no, for dep depression in general, depending on, you know, your triggers, you can, um, you, there's ways to cope, like, lifestyle changes and medication, so. Yeah, and therapy. Hopefully there's, <laughs> hopefully there's all of that in Clone High. Yeah. Because <laughs> this, uh, Miss Earhart and Van Gogh needs to do that. Yeah. The only thing you can hope to do is hold on as long as you can, Vincent. Stay alive for things that make you happy. Like your art, for example. He analyzed you shyly, looking around at his sorry sky manifested paintings. Do you like them? Oh yeah, I love them. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Inside, you wish you had his talent. Inside, you secretly resentful. Why? Why did everyone else have to be better than you? Even when you wanted to support them. Even when they deserve nothing but love. Why did everyone else have something going for them? Like a talent, like a hobby, etc when you had nothing but this infinite emptiness and despair. You can blame God for that, though. Not at all. You were trying hard to be good, unjudgmental, nice person, but it hurt your soul. And, oh, and dear God, what it hurt, it hurt your soul bad. It hurt your soul like it seemed like there was nothing left to live for. Holy shit. <laughs> On your way. Over thorn bush, through wet puddles, past slowing moving slow moving motor vehicle traffic, you stumbled into someone again. An annoying, annoying someone that had been following you from the get-go. Which was kinda creepy, honestly. Kind of creepy as you spotted the red shirt and tall physique. Lass. <laughs> you, ro you rolled your eyes instantly. Not him again, with his bumbling words and his stripped stripped red white t-shirt. <laughs> What do you want from me now, JFK? Unknowingly to you, he had asked around the school population for your address. Oh no! That's <laughs> Wanting not to make creepy. things right. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, do you know Earhart's address? Uh, nothing weird! <laughs> Wanting to make things right. Wanting to make things right from the very wrong they had been yesterday. The weird, crueling, embarrassing, depressing events of yesterday. Yesterday have been horrible. I'm sorry, lass. You walked a little bit faster, overlooking the shimmering, splendid sunset. It reflected in your eyesight, dappled in such a magnificent sort of beauty. You're sorry about what, JFK? I'm sorry for trying to shove myself onto you for being too pushy and, um, annoying. I hope you're feeling a little bit better today. I wish you happiness. You just ignored him. Wait. Oh, I guess he said that. It didn't really transition properly. You couldn't let him derail your fucking plan. That is that fucking necessary? Yeah. Right. I, I... The wheels were in motion now. It seemed so... Seemed that the universe itself wanted you dead. Through every inconvenience. Through every failed test. Through every trivial hardship. With a rope coiled around your neck. Or a gun... Alright. Oh my yep, god. All this stuff. <laughs> With your and other things. Yep. With your silence, JFK grabbed onto your wrist desperately, just 
short of gracing over those scars that trailed your flesh. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like, a, it's like a Pierce the Veil song. His brown eyes looking dead into your own eyes. <laughs> I don't want you to join Ponce, join Ponce de Leon, uh, Earhart. You deserve to be alive. <laughs> if I was feeling this way, I really hope uh, JFK's clone just like comes up to me saying, <laughs> You deserve so much happiness, Earhart. Why are you so against that? Why are you so unknowingly to your own beauty? You blink back more tears, tears that were always so easy to manifest. Why do you care so much, JFK? Objectively, I'm not beautiful. I certainly don't find myself beautiful. I'm not like Cleo. Objectively, I'm not smart. I'm not like Thomas Edison. And much, much worse, I'm not even friendly like Joan of Arc. I'm not rowdy or loud like Gandhi. I'm trash. I'm human waste someone dumped on the freaking sidewalk. I don't find any good qualities at all within myself. Uh, let's see. Is this like a self conversation? Okay, it is. How much more self deprecating could you possibly get than that? Did he see how much pain you were in? Did he fucking see it? It hurt. It hurt like a spike that this disgusting universe has stabbed into your very corroded soul. All because someone had genetically cloned you to be exactly so. All because once, from a cloning tube, your life has been si- Silum- I think they're saying simultaneously, maybe? Made in ruin- yeah. They, they meant to say simultaneously. Wait, is that so how you spell that? <laughs> No, it's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> like me trying to spell? I, I felt that, but damn. Uh, like, um... There, luckily, we have this thing called Grammarly, which is not today's sponsor. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I'll ever get to a point where I get a sponsor. <laughs> Maybe I will. Let's go. <laughs> Maybe. You are beautiful, Earhart. And even if you weren't, which you're not, you're also so much more than that. You charm me. Yeah, uh... uh Charming! JFK, you're only saying that because I'm suicidal. <laughs> if I didn't want to die, you would just walk right past me, not giving two shits, not give two shits until you have to go to my fucking funeral! Is that what this is? <laughs> uh, prevention because you pity me. I don't want or need your pity. Let me rot. Let's let me out of this mess that's called my life. Go back to Marilyn Monroe. Oh my god, okay. Oh, man. It sounded really resentful and bitter, but that's exactly how you felt. Did we? <laughs> exactly how you didn't want to feel. You I shoved mean, JFK's... Oh, huh? I mean, I felt like that before. <laughs> man. Uh, I definitely ate the high school experience, huh? Yeah. You shoved JFK's broad, athletic body away from you, continuing to walk the final route back home. A plane roared overhead. Uh, bustling with passengers traveling from Aberdeen to Exclamation USA. Alright, that was random. Yeah. Darkness was begging to set in, street lamps thus flickering on, a, a washing the whole quiet street around you in an artificial brightness. Oh my gosh, this is so much about the street. One particular street light flickered on directly, on directly above your head, like a heavenly light drowning you in a halo. A sign from God? That the light had flickered on directly above you? Imagine that. Just not the right sign you needed right now. <laughs> I don't care about you, JFK. I still want to die. He increased his walking speed, trying to match your footing. Why? Why do you, uh... Wait, why? Why do you want to die so much? I, uh... Being clones. It's where we were, uh, uh... Give it a second chance at life. I, uh... You should make the most out of it. Because I was cloned to be depressed, okay? Scudworth himself declared that I was revolting. Stomach peak trash from the get-go. And honestly, I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> Nothing makes me happy anymore. And you won't either. So thinking that you're so special because you're handsome or popular. Would you like to continue as the narrator slash, um, Earhart and I do JFK from here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You explain that loudly, your depression morphing and courting with an explosive anger. Anger even worse than the anger you had directed at Vincent Van Gogh. Wow. That actually sounded pretty rude, didn't it? <laughs> 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 you 
really couldn't control the words, however. This nasty, cancerous pit of self-loathing just never ended. I can't see you die, Earhart! I just can't! Why, uh, eh, why do you have to hurt me like this? <laughs> Just me yesterday, like, actually had a conversation. This is like Twilight, like 15 minutes in the movie. Like, I love you, D -d don't hurt yourself, please. Oh, yeah, but yeah, like, they meet for the first time, and the Edward's in the corner, like, Ugh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is Twilight. <laughs> he bursted into tears, like a comical expression. How overly cliche it was. I- you almost laughed. It he was cries because you don't want to hurt yourself, and then you're like, ha ha, loser. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is, like, somehow worse than June. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Maybe I should have read the rest of this. <laughs> this is like the emo series from now on. I guess I bring this energy. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It was utterly pathetic. It was it was teetering on the edge of being hilarious. And you just stared at him, dumbfounded. You weren't hurting anyone. You're probably just invisible. If he you're Fuck. <laughs> irrelevant, irrelevant Yeah, irrelevant and unwanted. Wanted to take offense to your own suicidal thoughts. You never you're never ending in hateful suicide thoughts. Quite frankly, there's nothing you could do about it. I'm not hurting you, okay, Kennedy? You don't have to care about me at all. Just leave me alone. Let me... <laughs> no, are we, are we... <laughs> and I'll be out of your three stare. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> it took us a few seconds. <laughs> it would have taken me a few seconds, too. <laughs> to process this that. Sounds like, this sounds like my ex boyfriend. Oh my god. You know how many fucking warnings I'm gonna have to put above this episode before I put it out? Oh my gosh, uh, d wait, did the, 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 is there a trigger warning here? Like, no! <laughs> usually I'm not too, like, anal about that, but, like, if it has, like, if it's this explicit, oh, oh my god, okay. Alright, no, we're not, we're going in here. It took him a few seconds to process that. His eyebrows nodded together. Bro, this doesn't even have the fucking mature label on here. It just said ongoing. Wait, really? Yeah, it just said ongoing, so I didn't think the depression was that bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But when he understood what you meant, and if it was painful for you, it must have been even more painful for him. You're referring to that you want to take your own life with a- Yep, and it would be the most effective method, wouldn't it? Yep, it probably would if I read that! <laughs> mm hmm You had studied these things, looked up with historical cases, fear, like an exclamation mark, an exclamation USA lit up in his eyes, alarm bells ringing in his head. Lass, you don't want to do that, trust me. Suicide is a uh eh. <laughs> He struggled with the words, no. rubbing his chin closely. Please no, uh... <laughs> Yeah, he's like he's shutting off. <laughs> oh my god, I can't take it. I can't take it. <laughs> a permanent solution to a temporary problem. You supplied him, raising your eyebrow defensively. Yeah, true. That what you just said. Maybe, like, Joan of Arc would be a little better for this conversation, I yeah. think. Yeah. <laughs> right there. You were, you were getting tired. Man, just shut up. And <laughs> what, what if it wasn't true? Your problem was a permanent problem. It wasn't temporary. It wasn't a temporary long, li live long depression cloned into your DNA, in your, in your uh, chromosomes, in your genetic structure. Suck it, because when a doctor had written it out for you on your medical certificate, the doctor had doomed your life in a white lab coat with a burning fake it till you make it smile. You really- I mean- Yeah. I mean, this kind is- Kind of, uh, clones of our parents, and we- Sometimes we have the same issues. We gotta- We gotta- We gotta reach out and get help and- uh, oh my goodness, this is- this I is a ride. I feel like she should've talked to a therapist first, before just jumping or, like, straight to this on draft. Yeah. Put this on draft, read it to your therapist before posting it. Yeah, <laughs> this is the you should to your therapist. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> they didn't do that. 
And then they can, like, break it down and, like, help any of these raiders, but man. Alright. You weren't- Where were we? You really couldn't fake it till you make it. You were already faking it. The smile you tried to display, the tiredness you tried to hide, the kindness you tried to uphold. It was hard, and the happiness could never be real. Being a moody, lonely, unlikable clone was a permanent problem with a temporary solution. No help for you. No hope for you either. If there was a solution, the solution would be suicide, okay? <laughs> it would be ending the suffering, like it would be ending the bugging that you had received from the ghost of, of Scudward's dead wife. That it would end all the, <laughs> the misfortunes and the bad luck days. It That would end it all the wishing for better times that would have never- that would not be better if they were still veiled by it, by a thin membrane of sadness. God, this is, so, this is terrible. <laughs> yeah. I would have given it a pass if it had a bunch of warnings, but no. No. <laughs> even if it was right. only a thin membrane of sadness, even if it was a paper thin, it was al always there. It was always ominous. It was always omnipresent. It was always the shadow of the corner of your eye. I'm killing myself, Kennedy. <laughs> I don't care what you think about it. I'm always programmed to wildly suck it up from the start. I'm the only one at your school without a happy end, a happy beginning, a happy middle, or a happy ending. I'm I'm a roller coaster that only goes down, my friend. You had to reach the finish line of your closing off isolated suburban American street, and there stood your house. <laughs> in solitude, with nothing around it. Almost like your house didn't even want to have any friends itself. Heh. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my god. Even my house is all alone! Yeah, even my <laughs> house has depression! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, let's, let's oh one my... step at a time here. Oh my god, it's like the fucking monster house. You remember that fucking movie? Monster house! <laughs> yeah! Uh, were you there when me and a bunch of people in Discord watched it. Oh, I wish I was now. That movie was so good back in the day. Uh, knowing who was there, probably not, but we can always rewatch it. I'd be happy to. Hey, Halloween's just around the corner, dude. We, we yeah, can do this shit. Halloween uh, episode? Hell yeah. Right, uh, okay. Lass, I don't think we are going to be safe all alone. I'll come with you. We can, uh, eh... We can get it on instead. <laughs> if you're alone, you might uh, uh unalive yourself instead of uh, uh <laughs> Am I allowed to say this on your video? Yeah, I mean I'm gonna put so many warnings <laughs> on this shit. <laughs> instead of uh deep throating the delicate flower in my pants. I I'd never like is he trans? Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He Anyways. does pull out flowers out of his pants at like one point. Well, like, literally Oh, yeah, I get like, it. He's like, hey, I baby, <laughs> you like corsages? Because I got a delicate flower for you in my pants. <laughs> he's pulled out a bouquet. Okay. <laughs> All right, missed the reference, I see. You almost fucking gagged, but you still invite JFK instead. Inside. He smiled <laughs> dumbly, knowing that he started to get your cold, icy heart with his adorable cotton candy charm. I'm going... <sighs> uh... I don't think we... How long is this? I'm, just continu I'm not continuing this, but I kind of want to see what's at the very end of this. Very long. <laughs> the end is very long. All right. Well, oh I my! Don't... Gosh. Can you like, <laughs> even for like uh, five seconds, can you like scroll down the entire page of chapter six for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, can do that. <laughs> like, especially look at the all caps. Like, what do we got here? Um. <laughs> All the, at the very bottom? This is a long ass chapter, holy shit! <laughs> You're fucking anything! You're not mine to cl And then just all of them. <laughs> and then it's chapter six. I just saw like, I just like scrolled through and I'm like, I just saw like a bunch of big texts. It was like, how much of my blood do you wash your fucking hands? <laughs> holy shit, there's a lot of paragraphs that are just like, oh. all caps. She, I think, she, yeah, uh, the. MC definitely uh, ends her own life at the very end. Oh, and what the hell? Yeah. And then the first comments, F off, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then they referenced Kurt Cobain, which is terrible. This with is the, with the honey, you got a big sore coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she knows. She knows. Oh, God. <laughs> and so... then Kurt Cobain, ex reader. Oh, my. No. 
I, um, le legitimately, uh, you know, I thought it was funny at first. Um, this is probably you're... the worst thing I've ever read. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was funny at first, but, um, if- if you're reading this, uh, seems like you're still a teenager, if you- at least, if you're reading this. I hope you're doing okay, uh, I'm worried. Uh, if you make anything else, please put trigger warnings. Yeah, hold and on, hold on. you want to home? I okay, gotta go. see, hold on. D please tell me they're still active, at least. Please tell me this is the last thing they wrote. Uh, okay, the last time they were active was September 29th, 2021, so hopefully they're doing maybe better they're now. Their, yeah, maybe they're out of their Wattpad uh, Doomer posting phase. Hopefully. That's all I could hope uh, for. <laughs> yeah, and to anyone watching, I never thought I'd have to make this an X reader, but um, if you need help, please reach out to someone you trust, and uh, the, we love you, and yeah. <laughs> this, yes. I don't- I- uh, I- I mean, I can- hopefully you agree with me saying I don't recommend this one. <laughs> no. I mean, I'll have a link down below, which is out of courtesy for, like, credit and whatnot, but, like... Yes. But in all seriousness, if you are suffering from, uh, suicidal thoughts and depression and everything, please talk to someone trusted, like, a professional, like, a therapist, and, like, get help. Yes. There are good things in life. There are things to look forward to. And, and not a Discord mod, please. Please, please don't do it. Don't do what I did. <laughs> Anyways, um, hopefully uh, next time we can find something oh. silly. It yeah, was, something it fun. was definitely a wild ride, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go take a cold something. shower. <laughs> I'm gonna take a walk, and I should probably do that too. Yeah, I'm gonna you touch know? some grass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. You, you know take care. Just saw it was like. It was like, touch grass, no, 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 I need to- I need to go in the fucking ocean. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's I mean. It's like- it's that picture of the girl with her hand in the pool. I, I hope you post that, like, in this video, hold on. Please. Girl- it, I'll, I'll- I'll send it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know what this image is, actually. <laughs> That's my reaction. <laughs> this is us at the end. <laughs> We're like- <laughs> This is me in the shower thinking about what I just read. <laughs> this is me thinking right. that, like, all the Wattpad books I've ever read has led up to this moment. <laughs> I don't know how to feel that. It, it has, if you think about it. Yeah. Who knew? Me reading fucking Zosan, fucking getting it on on the pirate ship would lead to me reading about the reader offing themselves at the end of a chapter. I wonder if anyone watching this went from, um, like, going to, like, <gasps> I went in bed with, um, YN, and then it was just, like, freaky shit, and then it's like, I don't care anymore! <laughs> oh my god, what a- what an interesting, like, episode transition. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll- I'll have Gummy's li stuff linked down below in the description, I'll have all their socials. Also, if you ever want a commission, definitely get this bitch to do it, they fucking rock. They- they did my- my banner, and they did my profile oh. picture. So. Thank you. You're welcome, bro. Anything for a homie. <laughs> it's the least I could do for making you suffer through this. It's okay. And everyone, I love you. Stay safe, please. Yeah, please stay safe. Touch some grass if you've listened to all of this. Yeah. Well, my name is Phoenix, and that was Gummy, and I guess we'll see you guys next time for the Wattpad reading. Uh, Bye! Uh,